I am Anil Kumar and we are exploring the pattern rules for the blocks. I hope you are enjoying this journey with me to understand how we can describe these patterns and write an expression, an algebraic expression for these. Now these are very special examples. What we have done here is we have taken two sets of uh, similar patterns. The question here is, the two sets of diagrams are shown below. They represent the same pattern write algebraic expression to describe their pattern and show that both the patterns are same right so we have two different different looking patterns but they are kind of same right if you count the number of blocks you will get same number of blocks but the way we have shaded them uh, the reason for shading like this is to get different types of algebraic expressions to describe them now here, how many blocks are there? 4 plus 2, 6. So we can write 6 here. Number of blocks here is 2 more than 6, which is 8. And then again, 2 more, 10 blocks, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Correct? So that is how the blocks are. Now the question for you is, how will you write a pattern rule for such a sketch or a diagram, right? So what we do normally is we number them. Let's say this is our figure number one, that is figure number two, and this is figure number three. Likewise, and we will call this a variable n. So n represents the figure number for us. Now in figure number one, what do you notice? In figure number one, you notice that there are four fixed blocks, correct? Four are fixed. So we can say, well, the equation should be four fixed. And what is changing is, in figure number 1, we have 2, in 2, we have 4, in 3, we have 6. That means 2 times the number. So we can write this as 4 plus 2n. And that represents the number of total blocks in any given finger, right? Is that okay? Right. So that is how you get equation for the first one. Now, I'd like you to pause the video and, you know, apply your strategy to find the equation for the second block. How are you going to do that? Okay, let's think about it. So here the fixed number of blocks, as you can see, is 2. So we'll do 2 plus. Now what is changing? 4, and then we have 3 and 3, 6, and then we have 8, right? So 4 is kind of what? So we have two sets of 2. Do you get my point? So it is two sets. So we want to get 4, right? So this is figure number is 1 correct so two sets of n plus 1 do you understand n plus 1 so n is 1 here but we have 2 so n plus 1 will give me 2 but we have two sets of these so 2 times n plus 1 do you get the idea it's kind of tricky right so you need to practice to get this okay so that is how you could describe this pattern so 2 times means 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So 2 times n plus 1, it is 2, but we have 3 of them. So n plus 1, 1 more than the number of the figure. So that is how we get. Okay. Now, second part of this is we need to show that these two are same equations. Right. How can we do that? Let's open the brackets. We get 2 plus 2 times n plus 2 times 1, which is 2. When you add 2n2, two two, we get 4, right? So we get 4 plus 2n. So this expression is exactly the same as the previous expression. So that is this exercise. I hope that helps. Now with that in mind, I'd like you to find the number of blocks which we can have in, in pattern number 10. So in pattern number 10, tell me how many blocks are we going to have? So let that be a question for you. Thank you and all the best.